first grade. Today we will be learning about shapes and their defining and non-defining features. Yesterday we learned that defining features are things like the number of sides that they have, if they are equal sides, and how many vertices they have. Today we will be talking about things that are non-defining. So I'm going to share my screen with you and we are going to get started. So we are just gonna go and get started with your visual learning video once we have it load. All right, so I can define 2D shapes by their attributes. How are all these shapes alike? I see the shapes are alike because they all have four they sides. They all have four sides and four vertices. They are all closed shapes. How are they different? Hmm. They're different because they're different sizes. They're also different colors. What do you see that makes them different? They are different colors and sizes. They are in different positions. Rectangles are two-dimensional closed shapes that have four vertices and four sides that are joined to make square corners. These shapes are rectangles. A square is a special rectangle because all four sides are equal in length. Which of these shapes are squares? So we are Select your answer. So we are looking for which shapes are squares. And a square is a special rectangle because all four sides are equal in length. So if I look at the red rectangle, I see that there's two, oh, something. Sorry, I don't know what happened. I see that two sides are long and two sides are short which means that it is not a square. On the blue one, I see again that two sides are long and two sides are short, which means it is not a square. When I look for yellow at the yellow uh, shape, I see all the sides are the same length, which means that it is a square. Now I see our green, is the same shape, it's just in a different position. But all of the sides are equal, so it is also a square. Yellow and green are both squares. The shapes are different colors, sizes, and in different positions, but they are all still rectangles. Shapes are not defined by color, overall size, or position. All right, we're gonna do your practice problems. So we are going to look at these two shapes and read the sentences, then circle the words that are true for the shape. So all squares, all squares are blue. Is that true? No, squares could be any color and still be a square. All squares have four equal sides. That's true. We learn for a square to be a square, the sides must be equal. All squares are closed shapes. That's true because to be a two dimensional shape, it has to be a closed figure. All squares are small. Have you ever seen a big square? I have, so it is not true. All squares are not small. All squares have four square corners. Yep, that's where our vertices are, is they have square corners. For a square to have four vertices, they are all going to be square corners. All right, now let's talk about a triangle. All triangles are orange. That's not true. All triangles have three sides. That's true.
all triangles have three equal sides. All triangles have three sides, but they don't have to be equal. So that is not true. All triangles are tall. That's not true. You can have short triangles, small triangles, and they are all still triangles. All triangles are closed figures. That's true. All right, a circle. All circles are blue. Is that true or false? Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. False. All circles are not blue. They can be whatever color. All circles have zero vertices. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. What, how many vertices do circles have? You're right, they have zero vertices. All circles are small. Thumbs up if it's true, thumbs down if it's false. You're right, it's false. Circles can be any size. All circles have zero straight sides. Give me a thumbs up if that's true or a thumbs down if that's false. You're right, circles have no straight sides. All right, Tim says this is a rectangle. Is he correct? Tell why or why not. So I know that this looks like a rectangle, but it is not a rectangle because it's an open figure. For it to be a rectangle, it would have to be a closed figure. So I would write, this is not a rectangle because the figure is open. All right, first grade. Make sure you log into Pearson Realize and you do your quick check for 14.2 and your interactive practice buddy for 14.2 so that Miss Barnes and I can see how smart you are. Bye guys.